All right, I lost my recording, but it's back now. Let me just adjust the camera a little bit so that you can see my nice purple shirt that I'm wearing today. So, with no further delay, let's get on with it. On page 318, you will notice Camera setup. Couple of photos. Photograph of an actual size and an enlargement. Today's topic will be how to enlarge drawings. Scale, uh, uh, on scale diagrams such as a blueprint of something, how to make it your scale bigger. So this is the actual size of a drawing and this is the enlargement. So the first thing I need you to do is make this drawing. So you may need to pause this recording while you do that because I have already done the drawing. So here it is. Now if we look closely at this drawing and we take measurements of this drawing, we can figure out by how much it was enlarged by doing length of enlargement and you will need this 0.5 centimeter graph paper it's on the back table find it there and actual size. You can also easily find it online if you're watching this class at home. Just do a Google search for 0.5 centimeter grid paper and print a few copies for yourself. So, now if we look here, this is two centimeters, this is four centimeters. So if I go length of enlargement divided by actual size, I get a two. Let's check another spot. Let's check this spot here. This is one and a half, and this is three. You divide by 1.5 is also two. So, and I would get this if I check each individual, like this is a one, this is a two, no, this is a half, and this is a one. I would get, check each individual length, divide the enlargement by the actual size, I would get two. So the point is that this drawing here was enlarged by an enlargement factor or scale factor of two. Okay? So, let's do some notes on this subject. Scale factor. is found by, simply put, length of enlargement divided by actual size. That's what tells you what your scale factor is. Okay. And so, continuing on to an example on page 319, let's take a look at that. We have this example here. Um, just want to get rid of where's my notes. I want to hide a little recording box. So doesn't get in my way again. Now, here we have one centimeters, two centimeters. Now, at that side though, this is five centimeters, this is 2.5 centimeters. So, let's look at the math for this example. So, again, we're doing length of enlargement divided by actual size. So, 
So this is from the diagram on page 319 that I just showed you. The length of one side of the enlargement was 5. The one that matches up to it was 2. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. The other one was 2.5. And the length of that side, the top side, was 1. 2.5 divided by 1 is also 2.5. So that particular diagram had a scale factor of 2.5. Okay, we call that the scale factor, the length of enlargement divided by actual, I should say actual size drawing. I didn't finish this earlier. Actual size drawing. Okay, and. Uh, proceeding to page 320. We've got a couple of nice examples here. The first one is a mosquito. Everyone loves mosquitoes. Uh, this mosquito has an actual length of 12 millimeters. Determine the scale factor of the diagram. Well, to do that, I need to find the actual length in this di the scale diagram. Uh, 45 millimeters is the scale diagram when I measure it off with my ruler here. So how am I going to find what the scale factor is? So let's call this page 320 mosquito, right? Page 20 mosquito 45 divided by 12. Grab your trusty calculator. 45 divided by 12, 3.75 is the scale factor for the mosquito. Now, let's have a look at another example. This is a photo of a longhouse. And it says, Long houses have a dimension of 9 by 6. The photo is enlarged by a scale factor of 7 over 2. Calculate the dimensions of the enlargement. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. You could take the 7 over 2 and th turn it into a decimal, or we could just multiply by 7 over 2. But we have our two measurements. So this is the uh, long house. And it is 9 by 6. With a scale factor of 7 over 2. Or 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So it's up to you. You can multiply by 3.9 times 3.5. 6 times 3.5 or 9 times 7 over 2. Um, I'm going to go with the decimal. 9 times 3.5 is 31.5 and 6 times 3.5 is 21. So what is our what are our scale dimensions? 31.5 by 21. The enlargement is what that was. Now, uh, let's take a look at an example, one more example uh, over on page 321. This is a fairly easy concept and it's going fairly quickly for us here, I would dare say. Looking at this example here. We want to enlarge a scale drawing of a metal bracket, and we want to enlarge this by a scale factor of 1.5. Okay? And we'll then do a sketch on our grid paper, first of all. So let's measure this thing. Three centimeters. 
by three centimeters. Um, on top we have one, and the other ones are two. So let's do a sketch and then an enlargement. So the ones on the sides, so this is half centimeter grid paper. So in order for me to do three centimeters, I have to fill in six of these. So three centimeters here, three centimeters here, and then that's a one, so I need two of them. And that's a two, so I need four, and four again to make another two, and one. Now to enlarge all these by a scale factor of 1.5, you have to, we're gonna do all the math on here to make it clearer. So these sides are three. So three times 1.5, is 4.5, that's the sides that are 3, the sides that are 2, 2 times 1.5 is 3, and of course the sides that are 1 will simply remain as 1.5, will simply remain as 1.5, right? Because 1, well, the, well that 1, you're not changing. So keep in mind this is half centimeter grid paper, so when you're doing your drawing, you have to double. So 4.5 centimeters will take up nine of these squares, right? Okay. And another nine over here. Good. And here we have a three going up. Wait a minute, was that a one over? Oh, that's a one. Okay, so we need just a 1.5. Scribble this out. So one, oh, 1.5. And we double it so it's a three. Right, okay, I was right the first time. So this is 1.5, but in order to make 1.5, you have to do three of these because it's always doubling. Okay, uh, here we have a length of three, which means we need six. And just to finish off our drawing. So if we do a quick comparison now, and here we have 4.5 centimeters, here we have three, and these guys here are two, and these guys here are now a three, right? This can pull this out, it's good. Uh, and of course the ones will remain as, that's a 1.5, and that is a one. Very simple. You take your scale factor, you enlarge accordingly, and you make your new drawing. And just to clarify even further, this was a two, a three, a three, two, a one, and a one. Okay. Und which means we had 4.5, 4.5, 1.5, and finally 3, 3. So enlarged by a scale factor of 1.5. Good. straightforward lesson, I would say. We'll have a bit of a pause in our lesson here before we uh, go on to talk about the homework.
because naturally we have to share some more jokes. Here we go, 56 funny math jokes that will make you smile. Now I have to try and do some that we haven't done yet. Why are obtuse angles so depressed? Because they're never right. What's the best way to woo a math teacher? Use acute angle. How come old math teachers never die? They tend to just lose some of their functions. A farmer counted 297 cows in a field, but when he rounded them up, he had 300. Did you hear about the statistician who drowned crossing the river? It was three feet deep on average. And that's it. It's good for the jokes for today. I'll give you the homework exercises and then we'll go over them a bit. They're all on page 323. No worksheet this time. It's all in your textbook. Page 323. Numbers four, five, seven. Eight and nine. Three hundred and twenty-three. Four, five, seven, eight, nine. Now let's go over them. Number four, simply find the scale factor. By how much was this enlarged to this? You've got a 2 here. Check what you have here. What did you multiply by? That's number 4. Find the scale factor. Make sure you're showing your work. Number 5. The scale diagrams of different squares are to be drawn. The side length of each original square and the scale factor are given. Determine the side length of each scale diagram. So we have 12 and we have 3. So then what do you do here? All you do is multiply. So your first one would be 12 times 3, which would give you then an enlargement of 36. Okay? Fraction, multiply as a fraction and turn into a decimal and the rest are just decimals. We're not doing number 6. We're going to go to number 7. Here is a scale diagram of a salmon fry. So it's 30, actual length is 30 millimeters. Measure the length that it is and find out what the scale diagram is. So actual was 30 and this one is considerably longer so it's an enlargement. Find out what it is and then find out what the scale factor was using of course the formula Length of enlargement divided by actual size of drop. And that same thing applies to number four. Number eight. Again, we've got the head of a pen that's two millimeters. And you do the measurement to find out how many millimeters it is. And you find your scale factor. And here you'll be doing a drawing. Each angle is 120 degrees. Use a protractor and ruler to draw a scale diagram of the bolt with a scale factor of 2.5. So find the length of one side, then find out what it's going to be with a 2.5 scale factor. Once you've made one line, you just make all the rest of them, and every angle has to be 120 degrees. So to get that part right, you will need a protractor. So once you make your first line, then you have to get do an angle measurement to make sure you're going in the right direction, and then another line, and so on. You can't ask any questions, of course. You could, I suppose, post them below in the comment section. But that will be all for this lesson.
and we are going to end it.